Hi Vicky, Francine Lewis here. Hope you're doing okay um, and I hope you're excited for your challenge doing impressions. I think this will come naturally to you because you are naturally funny uh, and I heard you're very good with accents and that really does help. Um, I think we'll start off with somebody who I think you're going to find quite easy to do because you're a Geordie yourself. I think you're more excitable than this person, uh, Cheryl Cole this is. I think you're much more excitable, you're more a way hey, Geordie where she's totally utterly calm um i would say the techniques for impressions and i do believe everybody can do at least two impressions um if you were to ask somebody if they can do you know a couple of voices i'm sure two impressions everyone can do so cheryl carr i thought would be quite an easy one for you if you imagine you look like Cheryl, this is not how I do it. I imagine I'm that person. I imagine I've got the dimples. I imagine I just look like her. I sort of morph into her body. Uh, mannerisms are really, really important. Once you get the mannerisms, the voice kind of comes. I did struggle, actually, at first, the Geordie accent. I kept going into Indian. I kept going, a can't, instead of a can't. So for Cheryl, just keep it really calm. Imagine you look like her and you're saying, I totally, utterly feel you agreed tonight. You totally, utterly smashed it and I love jazz. All you have to do is that and I know, Vicky, you're going to find this so easy. Not hard at all because we're from the same place. So just keep practising, just keeping it all calm. And the A's, it all says it in the A's for Cheryl. She's so expressive with her eyes. I loved you. So that's Cheryl and I know you'll be absolutely fine. So then my second one I thought for you would be really funny to do um, Janet Street Porter because you're on the panel with her on Loose Women and she's hilarious to do. So for Janet again imagine you've got these big teeth, you're totally miserable and all of a sudden you just adopt her, you know. She hates everything. She's not very nice to people, but that's just me. I don't care because I can make a much better shepherd's pie than that bloody Golden Ramsay. So all you do is that. And when you want to make her a little bit more serious, you just talk like this and it just all comes. Um... I would say a lot of people, if they were doing Janet, they sort of stick out the teeth a little bit because obviously I'm known for my teeth. They say I've got summer teeth. Summer here, summer there. But um, I think she's a real fun one to do. And I think you'll get a lot of laughs because I think anyone who does Janet uh, is going to be funny. I mean, when I did her on Britain's Got Talent in the final, I, I heard she hated it. <laughs> Um, let's face it, no one likes to, some people love it, some people have a really good sense of humour and they love it when you do them and some people find it a bit, I don't know, embarrassing but I, when I do someone's impression it's a compliment because it means I really, really love you and I really watch you a lot and that's why, that's why I don't do sports presenters, I don't do news readers because it's not what I watch. Um, so yeah, with Janet, it's all in there. You know, she's always miserable. Oh, bloody this and bloody that. I hate loose women. It's all like this. So I want you to try and do that because I know you'll be hilarious. Okay, so that's number two. So number three, well, um, Gina said you'd probably want to try and do an American. So I really love watching the Kardashians. I don't know if you watch that yourself. So it was between the two, I think, Courtney Kardashian and Kylie Kyder, uh, Kylie Jenner have a lot of Kylie's very quiet and straight laced. So she be like that, where she's quite irritating to watch. That she doesn't say a lot very loudly, and it can sometimes be quite irritating. Or then you've got Courtney, who's I just love my sisters and we do so much together and me and Scott are not together anymore but it doesn't matter because it's all about my kids and that's all I care about. So with her, she's very over the top with the 
long sentences and the sisters and it can be quite disturbing to watch. So I love doing Courtney. She's one of my favorites. So if you can do an American accent, you can definitely do her. So she's very her sisters. Um, if you watch her, you'll find that you can really be over the top. And she speaks quite slowly and emphasizes all the ands. Um, so I find her really funny to do. Okay, they're the two Americans, I would say. I do love doing Audrey from Corrie. That's it, so I just love doing Audrey. I do it, and I get. What's up, what's up, what's up? Do you know, I have so many problems with that girl. And you're really like to go over the top with her facial expressions, yeah. Um, and then if you wanted to do Sharon Osbourne, we're Sharon, it's all there. I love my Aussie, and then she suddenly becomes Mrs. O. And then it goes back down to there, because I'm fabulous, darlings. So, I've given you a good choice um, of people. I know you only have to pick three. So, it'll be interesting to see who you pick. I will be there on Sunday to give you um, some extra tuition before you go on. I know you're going to be brilliant. You're brilliant at everything you do. And um, I'm really looking forward to meeting you. Mwah! Lots of love.